hey what is going on you guys welcome back to another brand new video on my youtube channel i hope you guys are having a great day as always welcome to day four of our daily upload streak and today we're going all the way back to our roots where we used to talk a lot about dell laptops and in today's video i'm going to enlighten you guys on the whole perspective that a lot of people have on the dell xps 15 series without wasting any more time let's begin with the video so the new Dell XPS 15 7590 came out and it has a GTX 1650, the i9 processor, like it's a killer laptop, right? But a lot of people compare this to gaming laptops. So I've been watching a lot of hands-on videos and I've been seeing a lot of in-depth benchmark kind of videos as well. Shout out to my boy Tally Ho Tech for the great videos, by the way. And with a lot of these videos, I still see that there is throttling happening in this laptop which is a common recurring issue that happened throughout the whole xps series ever since i think the 9550 so i'm a owner of the dell xps 15 as well but i have the 9560 so my laptop only has a gtx 1050 which is far less powerful than something like the 1650 which just came out but the thing is dell didn't really change up the whole design or anything in a way to actually compensate for this more graphical power so they actually have a very similar design in fact the same chassis with just a slight refinement made to the heatsink so yes they are actively trying to fix and minimize the throttling but they really haven't taken a huge step towards the whole throttling issue and we've seen even companies like apple still release laptops with throttling and they simply just don't seem to care enough now i don't really know what's going on with apple but i kind of do know what is going on with dell i know why they don't care about the throttling as much as we do so here it is are you ready to get enlightened okay so this is the thing well, Dell already has a gaming laptop series, and I in fact owned one of them. So the Dell Inspiron Gaming Series is a dedicated series meant for gaming. I own their 7567, they had a 7577, and now they have the G series, they have a gaming series, right? So these gaming laptops in their G series can pretty much game non-stop. They have awesome cooling in them, they have a powerful CPU, a powerful GPU, good enough RAM, and you can game all day if you really wanted to. Although it's not ideal, you technically can. The thing with the Dell XPS 15 is that if you look at it only from a spec sheet, you'll think that it's a gaming laptop, but once you see the design, then you start to realize that it really isn't. It's not designed for the same target market. Like for example, if someone wants to buy a gaming laptop, will they even consider the XPS 15, even though that it has almost equivalent specs with another gaming laptop? They've, no one really considers it as a gaming laptop. But the problem with the community is that the people who actually consider buying the XP15 want to compare it with other gaming laptops, which kind of doesn't make sense. As well as I would like it to be a gaming laptop, as much as the spec sheet shows that it can be a gaming laptop, it really isn't, and Dell doesn't want it to be. So Dell wants to separate their market the first half which is the gaming half and they want to sell Alienware products and their gaming series laptops to those people then the other half of the world where people want to buy either laptops for school uh, university business their personal brand where they edit videos do graphic designing that kind of work oriented group of people that's where they want the xps to sell at they want that kind of workstation kind of experience with a thin ultra book kind of design but still a gaming performance the thing is that people see that this laptop has a GTX 1650 which is a gaming graphics card, it's not really meant for gaming. A dedicated graphic card doesn't really mean that the laptop has to game or the computer has to game. It could be simply for other tasks like video editing or graphic designing and that's where Dell wants the XPS to be used at. That's why they don't want to change the design enough to compensate for the throttling that's happening right now. In fact, they just moved up the webcam to the top of the new laptop and I think they did this because they actually want people to be able to use this for video conference calls and because they are targeting a more professional level of people. They're not targeting gamers. And that's the point that I want to share in this video. That's the perspective that I want you guys to look at it. Don't just look at the XP15 and compare it with other laptops like the Razer Blade 15 or the Aero 15 because those are dedicated gaming laptops. If you want a laptop that can game well for 6 hours straight, get a gaming laptop. If you want a laptop that you can take to a business meeting and still look professional, if you want a laptop that you can take to a university lecture and still study without gaming, 
then you want the xps 15 because at the end of the day you can still come home and casually play a few hours of games so that's my point on it for the longest time ever i've been complaining about how dell hasn't changed the design on how dell keeps pushing the limits and dell is not changing the design to fix this throttling i've been complaining for so long and you guys probably remember my face by now for being one of the biggest complainers out there but i finally realized i've been looking through the wrong hole i've been looking with the wrong perspective and i finally fixed it i finally understand i finally realized that the xps was never designed to game the xps was never meant to be a gaming laptop so we shouldn't expect it to be we shouldn't want it to be a gaming laptop in fact we should embrace how the xps is one of the only thin laptops with a small form factor that still even has a dedicated graphics card so with that being said i hope you guys really understood something that i'm trying to say here i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys are finally enlightened with this new perspective and if you are considering buying the dell xps 15 7590 please Please try to understand before you make the purchase that this is not a gaming laptop, but this is more so a casual gaming laptop that also can do heavy, heavy tasks in terms of video editing and coding and compiling and things like that. So with that being said, this is your boy Tech Alpha signing out with today's video and I will see you guys tomorrow with another daily video. So this is me signing out. Peace out.